I've got a, before I carry on with the Christmas decorations, I, um, like I said the other day, I was browsing the internet just for ideas. And, um, I, I'm going to sneeze. Ooh, you know, you want to sneeze, but can't. Bloody hell. <laughs> I have a little box here. And let me just make sure. Wow. I have to trim that down, but that would fit. Okay. I'm going to make a little cat. And I've done the wheels. Well, I haven't finished them. What I've done is, because I didn't want the middle showing, and I'm not going to paint them, I can't be bothered. But I've done four spools, the same size. And I'm going to put false fronts on them. But because they've got a hole in the middle, I'll be able to sink in a bead. And hopefully, if I get the right bead, to have them shabby, like that, see? I'll sink it in. So I'm going to cushion these. I think. <laughs> I say. <laughs> but, um I don't, I think I'll just leave it like that as a small cart, so it's going to have wheels, like here, here. So, like I said, I'm putting a false um, front on them. Uh, let me see, let me just see. So I need to cut these out. I know I'm using the wrong scissors, but these are sharp, these bloody things. Right, let me just go back to them, because I don't want to ruin them. It's no point in ruining a good pair of scissors. There we go. Right, you should finish with that for now. Okay, let me just put the bead back. So I've got this fabric and it is a quite a thick satin. It's wedding dress fabric. And I just need to make sure I can cover the four pieces nicely. big compared to the others. So I'm just going to snip it round. That's it. Just seemed a little bit big. That's better. Okay, so we've got those four marked out now. Now, I need to actually mark them out. Where did I put my thing? Where did I put my thing? Where did it go? I've just had it, haven't I? Oh, got it. <laughs> I know. I need that right in the middle to do that. As near as damn it. Have to get a needle through it. There we go. Now, so I need a little bit of wadding, which I have here. Now, if you had two pieces like I've just got there, and one of them's not, you know, not as wide as another. Just use the smaller piece if you can. Because I hate seeing people waste. Oh, my word. It drives me insane. You know, and you could use a big piece for a page. So 
So you like that, just sit that on like that. Well, we can cut it now, I suppose. Just kneaded and padded a little bit. Make it more shabby. Now, one of the ways I was thinking of doing it, I could have... I don't throw them away. I could have, like, taken a piece of fabric, a long strip, sewn it up one side, stuffed it, and then made wheels out of it. But I didn't want to do that. Too much messing about. I'm doing it the easy way. I'll get the same result just about. <laughs> Maybe. Last one in there. Oh, I would. Yeah, that saves me some wadding. wasted quite a bit of fabric I've not doing that but never mind might be able to say salvage some of it I'm just gonna cut it into a circle and then Gotta go around the edge. Now let's see if it works. Not do every alternate one, and that way you can crisscross them. Now, where did I put, oh, I put the pearl back, didn't I? Now, I need a needle that'll go through. So, no doubt, I probably can't find one. Whoa! <laughs> and I've got my silk thread, which is going to um, do exactly what I want it to do, hopefully. This might give you ideas to do something else. I'm going to go back through the hole. And now, hang on, because I'm going to do this a couple of times. Tie it first. See how it pulls it in? Now, this might be too big, this bead. You're going to go back through the hole. So I've double knotted it first. Now let me just see. Pull the right one, mate. Line your bead up so that it's straight. No, I like that. Right. Take it off and then you're going to tie it tight.
Hopefully it'll work. Please work. <laughs> Looks like a nipple. <laughs> well, a crafty nipple. <laughs> So, and then what you're going to do is you have to, obviously, make sure that these are glued in and glued down. Glue, Fiona. So we can spread all of that about and that will hold that, fill that in. See, like that. And then... What I'm going to do is that I have somewhere here. There we go. To get the right colour felt, the pale pink. I'm just going to. One, two, I'll go for something else. Three. I need four of these. Take that off. You take that off and just snip any loose, you know, like this to flatten it a little bit. And then we now I'm going to cut it first before I finish gluing it on. Reason being, once it's glued on, you can't cut it. See, oops, just dropped a little bit there, just round the edge in. Right. Now what I'm going to do with that, just to make sure it stays, dob a little bit of glue on and hold that down. And that will sit on there as a wheel. I can go around with pink paint and colour that in. I'm not fussed about that. Or I can get a braid to do that. So that now needs to go onto there. Like that. I didn't really need to cover that, did I? We felt... See? I, even I make mistakes, and as somebody pointed out, they're glad I leave them in. I've just wasted felt. Well, I'm not going to do... Well, I'll have to, because I'll get the same. It's actually broadened that a little bit for me to do the braid. So, let me just see if I can find the right braid. Yeah, see, something like that. Oh, it looks like a cake. <laughs> you can do it as a wedding cake, a miniature wedding cake. Come on, girls, see? See what you can do. But I do like that. Let's just see. Ah, more shabby. This is more shabby. And I'm going to do it. Oh, a mini Christmas cake, a mini birthday cake. Or oh, just a look. And we could pop some little icing bits on. 
<laughs> well, that's a great way to make a cake. <laughs> Ain't it? Yeah, okay. Right, that's one done. Now we've got to do another one, another lot. So I'll come back when I've done them. Right, everyone. So I've done my four wheels. Now all I've got to do is the box. And that can go under there. Once that's stuck in, like that. Right. Glue! <laughs> Glue! Just going to do that to start with. And just to keep it in the bottom. like that that's fine by me that will do and then what I'm going to do is just do around the edges and the way I'm going to do that is to take the piece of felt when I can separate these two pieces just ignore the way I'm doing it you can do it your way <laughs> right okay I'm going to do it like that so first of all and cut that piece off. Don't waste. Come in handy somewhere. Swing that around. And I've left a little bit of meat on the bone, so to speak, that I can play around with if I get it wrong. Which I'm more than likely to do. So, let's have a look. I'm just going to do that. I don't need it underneath at all. Okay. All I'm going to do is make sure that it's level. Now, I may have to do this in more than one piece. I mean, I will have to do it in more than one piece, obviously. I was hoping to get away with it in two, but I might have to just slot a little piece in. I haven't got any felt bigger than this. So I have to do it like this. I'm only doing it in sections because obviously when you put glue to cardboard or metal it dries pretty quick. Sorry about that. Now, where was I? Yeah, I was just... Ex um, I don't know. Uh, the phone rang. Sorry. It was Raymond. <laughs> I know, it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> right, all I'm going to do at the moment is just to... I need to go from there, like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is glue the felt, I think. Flip that over and put that in like that, see? And then it's glued down to the base as well. I'm going to be putting things in it. So, that just peels off. See, just do that. I'm just covering it. It's fine. So I need to start on this end. I think I'll make it that I only put one piece in the corner here.
like that just gluing it in in the corner like that to be honest i'm not fussed at all it is only a box of course next time i would put the flap in last the base in last Okay, so now we've got that. Like I say, I'm not that fussed about this um, inside. And I would should have put that on top of all of that. God knows how many sticks of glue I've used. <coughs> Hang on, they've all got to sit right. All I'm going to do straight down the middle. I am going to do that around the edge and just underneath, just to protect it. Like that. Again. And do it your way. I'm just sharing how to save stop throwing things that are away that we can use and then make something with them and i like my little caddy now, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put some of this on along the edge And there you go, that's going to be my front. Just going to glue this one back in a bit. Make it a bit more sturdy. I'm not going to waste felt, uh, uh, any trim or anything putting it on the bottom here. I'm fine with that. But what I'm going to do is I have some strips here, which I need my big scissors. And these are my chipboard strips put paper on them fancy them up and whatever i want to do with them i'm not going to because i'm going to get some dolly pegs i think i had some somewhere so i might still have them you know i could paint these and do all sorts with them but i'm not going to at the moment so, what I'm going to do just for now is a little dob of glue, that's how I start mine off, and just wrap. Right, I'm back everyone. I've wrapped some laces up on a bit of card, um, just so you can see. And I've put it in there. You could easily make a box out of some chipboard. We sell chipboard if you can't get hold of it. Uh, all different sizes, but look, great little caddy. You could cut these out of chipboard. You could make a tall one if you've got, you know, like a taller one. If you've got, um, if you want to put a lot more lace in, it's just so easy. And I love that. It 
easy, cheap, useful. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.